Okay, we're on our second tutorial of our Bash um, series, and we're in the process of getting to this point here, getting our terminal all set up, and uh, so the command line and uh, all of everything we're going to be doing in Bash will be color coded and just makes things a little bit easier um, when we're going to look for. Uh, and use um, the bash. Now we have quick glances we can see everything that's happening instead of having to read all the code you know in high detail we'll know if we see this here we can just overlook that right away and we can see it exactly where we are no matter what we're doing everything's different color codes and that works out nicely. Okay. So When we ended, we were in Nano, and uh, we opened up our uh, two simple text editors, and then, uh, let me just a second, I need to figure out on time here, okay, okay, and then um, we have our two terminals set up side by side first thing we're going to do from here is we'll go to go to opensage.net and then go to Ubuntu uh, in the future that'll probably be called Linux but I thought I was going to be doing more tutorials on Ubuntu but for now it looks like I'm uh, dealing with bash more and stuff so uh, probably be switching that to Linux anyway then you'll when you're there on the bash tutorials uh, you'll have a video and then some code below. Okay, we're interested in this code right here right now, and we're gonna take and you're gonna pick out what you want to do for changes to your command line. Okay, for uh, your prompt when it first shows up. So, if you want it to be uh, regular text and it's gonna be in red and regular text in blue or if you want bold you're going to grab those codes okay if you want it to be underlined and stuff like that so for me I'm going to be using all bold but I'm going to grab bold and regular text just so I have both of them available and I'll copy those and I'll let them in this first uh, text editor here and paste those in there and then I'll grab uh, down below these codes there's another set of codes and I'm going to grab these and I'll copy them and I'll paste them into this text editor over here okay so now we're all set up one more piece of code we need we're going to grab this top code here, okay, and it's a PS1 code, and it's in um, between these uh, single quotations here, okay. So go from the last single quotation. Actually, even grab that last single quotation. Grab that last single quotation, and go till you get to the backslash that's right before the first single quotation okay didn't get that that one there so we're gonna manually do this from here to here and we're gonna copy that and then we'll go to our nano now to get around a nano you just use your arrow keys okay so down left right up down okay and then you can also do page up and page down so that's what we're going to do right now we're going to go page down and we're going to be looking for a specific set of code and it's going to probably be this one right in here yeah not it. Go 
put one more right here. When you see this color prompt yes, then PS1, uh, curly brackets, Debian, and all this stuff, and there's going to be a code there. Then after that, it's going to say else, and then there's going to be another PS1 code. That's the one we're looking for. It's the one that's after else that comes after this one that's above it with the uh, color prompt yes. If this, um, if yours is different, just look for different PS1 codes and try um, editing those and seeing which one is going to be correct for you. Okay, and if ever it something's messed up, you've already saved a uh, copy of the, all this file here, and it won't be a problem. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to. Um, delete everything behind this code here and we're going to even take out that last um, single quotation there so delete that and then we're going to paste in what we had copied before okay so go up and here we're starting out with this uh, backspace open bracket backspace E1 and all that that there is these are all uh, that there is just a code and the code if you look down here is for bold green see that E open bracket 132 or semicolon 32 that there is going to be a green code okay so we're going to save this. So we'll do a control O. And then we're going to it's going to ask us here if we want to write to this .bash rc file. We're going to click enter for yes. Okay. Now we're going to go to this terminal on the right side here. And now um let's just do a quick command of like dir and nothing's changed, right? So what we're going to do is do exit and now you see our command prompt has been changed. Okay, so now we get that green um, prompt, and that's how we did that. Was we got that bold green with changing that code right there, and all of these codes um, they mean something different. Okay, so let's get to looking at this code a little bit more. We have this backslash u. See here we have backslash u, and then after that the at symbol. So the backslash u stands for, and you can look up on this text editor down the lower right here, the backslash u is the username of the current user. Okay, so the current user is OpenSage. And then it will it says to put in ampersand, or I think no, that's not the ampersand, that's the about symbol or whatever. Uh so then it has that symbol there, the at symbol, and then backslash h, and backslash h, if you look down in this code here, is the host name. Okay? And then we have a backslash w, so backslash uppercase w is the base name of the current working directory. And then it has another code here, and this code is a um, color code, but basically it's 0M, which means reset it. So it's going to reset itself to white, or whatever you picked most likely is what, it, what you put for your font color earlier when we were, did our background at a dark color and our font at a light color. Okay? Okay, so let's go about changing this code a little bit more now. Okay. So I'm going to go back. And we're going to start changing this code out. And for me, I already know what my code is going to be. And I'm going to grab this code right here.
can't see my prompt in this. There we go. Can't see my. <laughs> I'm going to grab all this code, copy that. And I'm going to go back up here and I'll do a paste of that code there. Now, let's take a look at this code that I just pasted in here. Let's go back to the beginning. So, we have this E1 semicolon 32. So, 1, 32, that's that bold green still. Okay. And then we'll go a little further. And now we see we have an open bracket with the U. Okay, open bracket with the U there, so we know the U is the username. And then I have another color code right after that username, and it's 137M. Okay, so if we look down here, 137M is white. Okay. And then I have a lowercase w. And that's the current working directory. And then I change the color again to a 1 semicolon 31M. So that is red. And that will show this dollar sign here as being red. And then after that, anything that comes after the dollar sign, I have this color code of 134M. So that will be, everything will be bold and blue. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this command by doing a control O and we'll click enter to say yes we want to write to that dot bash RC file and now we'll go over here to this terminal and as we saw before when we do a like that we still have white but now we'll do exit type in exit and we have a new prompt now and as you can see we no longer have this about symbol we no longer have the host name I don't need to know that information but one thing I do have is it shows me white for my working directory now and that can come in useful for when changing directories okay so let's go uh, Dropbox and now I can see that but not only that but uh, and it's gonna be let's go to music and as you can see I'm, I have this happening all the time now right now if we were to change this lowercase w to an uppercase w and we'll do a save there and enter and now we'll do an exits here okay and now we're gonna go back so I'm back at the, my uh, home directory there so I'll do a CD back into Dropbox and now I'll do a change directory into my music again and as you can see it doesn't give me my full path of where I'm at it just gives me the actual directory I'm in so that's why I like to have this at the lowercase w. And so that's how you go about making those changes. So I'm going to control O and I'm going to write to that file again. And you can look at all these different codes in this um, text editor down here and you'll be able to find what matters to you and what you would like to have in your prompt here. Okay. All right, we're going to end this here, and uh, on the next video, um, I think that might be it, actually. There might be another video on this. I'll have to think about that.